Hey guys, this is Mist, and today I have a fun little uh, demonstration to do of my serial CPU. And it's not a fast serial CPU. Well, it's not crazy fast, but it's not slow either. Um, it's 1 over 5 hertz. Um, does have a little stall during bran conditional branches, which is fine. And let's see, the other specs to note. So the there's 4 bytes for the general purpose registers. Um, there's four I input and output ports, but I use one of them basically as an immediate bus. And then I also use one of them to one of my external hardware. So I have a parallel line drawer right here that I made. And I've probably not shown this one. I call this one the Stingray because it looks like a Stingray and I put some googly eyes on it. <laughs> that's the thumbnail probably. Yeah, that's the thumbnail for sure. No, that's probably not the thumbnail. It's kind of hard to see. But, yeah, so we got that. Um, I've got some basic uh, program ROM right here, just 64 instructions. And then this is basically the control unit. This gray section is literally it. <laughs> it's pretty small. Um, and, yeah, there's a basically a branch input here, and it basically muxes between two different states that are that it could possibly have. Now what I do is to reuse the data is whenever I have this branching state not used, I use it as a as basically an immediate uh, value. Um, and then the cyan uh, wall area here is for the next state basically. So let's go ahead and run it. So I'll go ahead and uh, jump out of the terminal state. And it goes to the 12th line of code in this case because that's what I've define the start as, the start label. And then we just proceed to uh, go through the program. So basically it's just going to unload four values, drop it into the general purpose registers, and then from there it's going to take those four values and load them onto the line drawer. So if you look here, it's starting to load it. Now, it might have accidentally uh, already counted some data in from before, so it might mess up. We'll see. It, it might mess up, but we'll find out. Okay, it's at the terminal state. Um, and we'll see if it starts drawing properly. <laughs> I hope so. Maybe not, but we'll see. Because I, I messed up uh, before. <laughs> so... Nope, we got it. Cool. But yeah, it, it, it freaking draws lines insanely fast. As you, and we're not even speeding the game up. Um, I'm on the OR server, so... And I actually have a copy of that uh, texture mapping unit here, so if anyone's curious about how that looks, uh, it's on my build plot. And yeah, maybe one day I'll hook it up. Uh, but that's... That's like beyond the scope of what I'm trying to test right now. I'm basically trying to test um, wireframe rendering. So if I make another video, the next video might be uh, showing off my 3D transform hardware, which will go right here. And yeah, it does what it says. It does 3D transforms. So that should be fun to show off when I, when I hook that up. But I hope you like the line drawer. All right, guys, have a good one.